Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our crochet podcast, episode 44. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for popping in. And if this is the first time you have stopped by this channel, welcome. I'm glad you did. My name is Krista. I am Canadian, but I moved to Nairobi, Kenya about 17 or 18 years ago-ish. Uh, I've lived here ever since. I totally love it. So this channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness and also a little bit here and there of what it's like living in Kenya. We do tutorials, crochet alongs, community chats every Friday. We upload pretty much every day at about six o'clock in the morning in California, sorry, at nine o'clock on the West Coast or at 5 p.m. my time if you are on this side of the planet. So if any of those things are of interest to you, consider hitting the subscribe button below. We'd love to have you join us. We are also over on Facebook. We have a closed Facebook group, so you can post whatever things you're working on and it stays private. We're also on Instagram. Instagram is awesome. You can just tag us or tag me in whatever photos you're working on. I'd love to see it. What else? Oh, crochet vacay. We're doing a crochet uh, vacation, a safari in February, which is going to basically going to see the big five, like go actually on safari, like National Geographic, and also around Nairobi to my hotspots, and also to the beach, best beach. I totally love it. It's gorgeous. It's like powdery, sandy. It's gorgeous. Uh, for four days in each place, so it's a 12-day trip. Details at secretyarnery.com slash trips. Love to have you join us. Although we're getting close to that being finished, so if you're interested, shoot me an email. So finished object, hoth. This is my hoth of the day. Literally of the day, I just did it this morning. I haven't even done my ends because I'm still putting on a border. I already filmed the podcast once, turned out the microphone, ran out of battery. Oops. Anyway, such is life. So I just put on this border this morning. So this is Drunken Granny Baby Blanket. It is a bit different than the Drunken Granny Stitch. The Drunken Granny Stitch is a chain three and Baby Blanket. Let me hold it the right way around. Baby Blanket is a chain two. Not my idea, that was a suggestion from one of you lovely subscribers. So thank you so much, I wanted to try it out and I did. So I did this with a six millimeter hook and then when I was filming, and even now, can you see that white line across there? It is exactly the same ball of yarn, like it's the exact same colors, but somewhere in here, it's lighter. What? Yeah. It's true. So the edge is finished really, I really like it. It's finished off so that you can put whatever border you want on it after. So it's finished on all four sides with a row of single crochet. So it is ready to get whatever border you want or you can just leave it like this and be done with it. But I thought that's a great way of finishing a blanket so it has like a fresh start for whatever border you want to put on. I'm thinking I'm going to do like dark gray, light gray, and probably like a parchment to get it kind of into the spooky blues and grays. So finished this. I just got it, the border filmed this morning. I figured it out at night. I finished the, my fifth ball. So this is five balls of yarn. So it's square pretty much within a row or two of being square. But at the end of my fifth ball of yarn, I was like, let me figure out how to put the edge on, like the right stitch count. Because to me, it's always a bit of a guessing game. But I got it figured out and then filmed it and then frogged it out a little bit so I could film it for you this morning. So that is filmed, need to edit it. This is already up, great. This is up as of yesterday. That is the Puzzled Granny, which is basically super great and so much easier than other, you know, autism awareness blankets and things. It's pretty simple and I really like the colors of it. I'm going to use this also as part of my Toxic Granny. And then I was looking at my Drunken Granny shawl because how many drunken grannies am I going to do? And then realized I totally did this one different anyway. 
Can you see that bottom edge? It's all wobbly, which I like. I like it a lot. So drunken granny shawl, still slightly different. And yes, I will be filming it sometime. Next week, this week, next week. This week is like finished already. Oh, uh, what else did I do? Real, I went to film the joining of Double Daisy Granny Square Blanket and couldn't find where I did the row of single crochet around the square. So I had to remake that so I could film it. Oops. So I did that. It was not that fun because I didn't need it for anything, but the video's up. So that was good. I enjoyed that being done. Also wanted to try something like that. But the pattern needs assistance. I know there's tutorials out there and stuff, but I like to kind of do my own thing so that I'm not like copying or whatever. But there's something weird. I have to frog it back. I figured it out what I've done that's weird. But it's basically at these corners, if you just go into these ones on the side, it just ends up being too tight. So you have to do ones on the side and one in the middle. So when you finish off or you start your next color, there is three shells for the tip. And then I think it'll lay really nice and flat. So I only did that on the one side. The rest are all a hot mess. And this is the general shape of it. It is a nice little dish. It's literally like a hat. Like, got my glasses on. But it would make a great hat. Too bad Kavitz is in here. Because see how it is? It's just like super... It's very, it's very domey, it's very hat-like. So that did not work out, although it's still being thought of in my head, and I will get it figured out. I don't wanna do the color changing kaleidoscopy thing. I wanna have like, so it looks like a bunch of solid granny squares stacked on top of each other. Like smaller, bigger to smaller, or smaller to bigger, you know what I mean? So that's in my head. I did that one, but I have not I haven't done one that with my new and improved technique. What else? Oh, my granny sweater. My granny sweater is finished. I have to fill, I have to do my ends, but I was busy doing me blanket. Let me leave that up here. I've been doing my blanket all week. There we are. So I have not worked on this, but I need to film doing the one last row on the bottom because I did, it's a double row here where the join is. So I wanted the bottom to match upon reflection. So I'm gonna do that. But what I would suggest, or for my next one, or for my Mrs. Roper, I would do two squares the same. So like the stomach and the back panels the same and the two arm panels the same, but I would not do all four the same. So I would do these two different than I would do those two. Just so when you join along here, because this cuts across your bust line, you don't have a big stripe going across your torso, which I do in this one. Uh, so if there was a different color here, it would, the, grand, the squares would just keep going like a nice stripe. And the only place where they would be the same is around your neck, which would look super great. So that is my new and improved idea, which I'll be doing for the Mrs. Roper Moo Moo, or whatever we're going to be calling it. But that is, so this is just four granny squares. So that was super easy. And I really do like it, but I would change the color of my last row, truth be told. So I've thought about that. I've, yeah, and I have to edit it and film the bottom. Although if you're changing colors up here, I guess you don't need to, right? Valid point. All right, so that is what I have been working on. Have some border ideas for this one, the dark gray, the light gray, and the white. Not sure if I want to do it just like super simple or do something more complicated. I don't know. So that one is just in my head also. So have you done anything in the Drunken Granny Stitch? 
If you have joined in on the drunken granny, type off the wagon in the, in the comment box below. And if you haven't started anything or you haven't done anything, you can type on the wagon in the comment box below. I'd love to see if you have tried it or not. It is such a great stitch pattern. I really love it. It looks so complicated and it's honestly double crochets with a chain three. Like it's so simple and nothing into stitches, only into spaces. So it goes super quick. You could like watch TV and pretty much let your fingers tell your hook where to go in. It is super fast, super great. And I would love to know if you have done anything with the drunken granny. I'm gonna wear this one today. There we go. It would make a nice tank, right? I think so. So that's about it for what I've been crocheting on. Little life updates. We had holidays last week, Diwali, Happy New Year for the calendar, whatever it is, the other calendar. 2074, I think it is, for the Hindu calendar. I'm not up on it, but I thought it was quite interesting and I always go for the food. So delicious. So what we are going to do for podcasts and things like that, because I did film the out and about, like taking you with me to drive to the big family lunch. I didn't film the family lunch because, you know, it's family. They probably don't want to be on YouTube. But um, did film some going around in the car and everything. But I'm going to, I used to put it at the end of the podcast. Like after this, I would, there would be an out and about. But I think I'm going to do it separately. It was Kavita's idea. She told me a couple weeks ago, she's like, what do you think about doing your out and abouts like separately as a separate video? And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Like can't do it. It goes after the podcast. We don't change. That's how it is. I'm stuck in stone. And then thinking about it, it's actually a pretty good idea. So anyway, we're going to try that. I, ha I was editing it this morning to get it ready to at the end of this video, so at least I knew what I was going to tell you is happening next. And then I was like, hey, you know what? She probably has a really good idea, and why wait until the new year to do something new? You could just do it now. So what do you think about that? Is that a good idea? Would you enjoy a separate video? Do you enjoy the out and abouts anyway? You can let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion about it, but I thought that's what we're going to try out today. So at the end of this is just going to be the normal bloopers that I always do anyway, because it's me. So that is what I was thinking for the splitting up the podcast. So the crochet podcast is separate from the out and about, two separate things. And then technically, if you wanted to like binge watch out and abouts, there would be a playlist of out and abouts. And if you wanted to catch up on crochet projects, there would be a playlist of just the crochet pro uh, the crochet projects. So that does kind of make sense, but I don't know, you know, change is always weird. So let me know what you think. Love to hear your opinion. Also working on an upload schedule. I know it's so grown up, right? So that all got me thinking about content over and how I did that and how like I really enjoyed it. I thought it might be like really hard or like too much to do, but I actually honestly really enjoyed it. And, but it, what, it did keep me busy. But now with Granny Mayhem, it's more like tutorials because it's like it has a different theme of the month. So I'm finding it more challenging to get the videos up because I have to have a finished product. Like you have to film the crochet. So you need the peace and quiet, the time of day, the lighting. Then you also need the editing and the uploading. And I'm not complaining. I love it. And I think it, like I'm, I totally enjoy it. But it is mo it's more challenging to get up a video every single day because you need a finished crochet object. So that one is a bit, that has me thinking like, you know, you're kind of weighing it all out and how am I going to do this? And I want to be consistent with my channel because I really enjoy it and I get a kick out of hanging out with you guys. So with that in mind, I have thought about, and you let me know your opinion about it, but uploading Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, a video of some sort, if it's me talking or a tutorial or whatever it is. And then uh, Wednesday is today, it's podcast day. And Friday is community chat, which I love. It's great to hear from you and get all caught up with everybody. And then Saturday, maybe like the out and about. So the, the part that I am not putting on the end of this video, I'll put on Saturday. And then Sunday, I take a breath, hang out with the kids, 
maybe don't even log into YouTube. I don't know how that's going to be, but like just disconnect and focus on something else one day a week, just for some balance. So I don't like drown and burn out. How could I burn out? But you know what I mean? Like just get tired of sharing. So take a day off like a normal person, do a video every day, the other days. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, upload a video at the same time of day, which is 5 p.m. my time, which is as soon as I can bug you guys in North America. 60% of the, you are from North America and 10% are from the UK. And there is another, I think it's almost six or 7% from Canada. So go Canada represent. When I first started this channel, there was like 1.8% or something like that that was watching me from Canada. So thank you everybody in Canada who has been nudging their neighbors and bringing them over to the channel because that's fantastic. It, but it also tells me where you are in the world and what time is good for you. Like if 70% of you are in the, in the North America or 80% ish, then you know, I have to take that into consideration of when I upload, which I'm totally fine with, but the latest in the day I can do that is five o'clock my time because I have the kids and all that, blah, blah, blah. So we've been doing premieres and I would like to know from you what you think about the premieres, if you are enjoying them or if they are annoying. I am not sure, but I heard somewhere, it was like one of these YouTube creator-y things. It wasn't like a crafting podcast, but it was like a content creator, YouTube tech kind of weird thing. Saying something like people can be annoyed by the notifications, like you get a notification when I put it as a premiere and you get a notification 30 minutes before it starts and you get a notification when it starts. So does that bother you? Like, do you want to still keep doing premieres or you want me just to go back to uploading at a consistent time? Or just maybe one or two premieres a, a week or one premiere a week, or do you just want to premiere every day? So like you grab your cup of coffee and come and hang out and you know you're going to see Jen and you know you're going to see Tammy and you know you're going to see the ladies or gentlemen. But you tell me in the comments box below what you think about that. Also, if you roll your cursor over the top corner of this, of your screen or put your finger around there or tap it if you're on a mobile device, you will see an exclamation mark, a little gray exclamation mark up there somewhere. Click on that and a little side window will pop up of other videos and also some poll questions. And one of the poll questions is, do you want to keep doing the premieres or do you want me to keep doing premieres? Do you like premieres or you don't like premieres? So let me know by clicking yes or no up there. If you haven't joined us for a premiere, a premiere is basically, it just gives you a live chat before and during the premiere. So I put the, I set the premiere a couple hours before it goes or that day and then, uh, there's basically a live chat. You can click on the link to the video and you can click on the little, looks like a little um, cartoon chat bubble underneath the video and then live chat will pop up and you can just type a comment or whatever and whoever else has popped in or checked or said hi. It's basically like a room where we can chat like way before the video and totally during the video. So it's super fun because like, I, I am totally enjoying it, but you let me know what you think about it. And if you haven't joined us for one, join us for one so you can also see what it's all about and if you like it or not. And then click the exclamation mark and answer the question to the poll. Thank you very much. So that's about all the crochet bits I have this week. I've just been busy in granny mayhem and definitely off the wagon. So if you have done anything or you have any pictures to show me, tag me on Instagram at Secret Yarnery. Love to check it out. Instagram's great. You can also follow me on Instagram. That's where I usually post like my middle of the night pictures or like what I'm working on. Seta from Seta's Place calls it yarn teasers. I just call it me in the middle of the night. <laughs> but that's where I put things that I'm working on before I put them anywhere else. And then you can also join our Facebook group. That is an amazing place to connect with me and other fabulous crochet ladies. There are some amazing crochet, there's such talent out there. They're doing amazing things and they're so good at crocheting. They are knowledgeable, helpful, they're and from all over the world. It's just such an amazing group. So feel free to join us over there. It is a closed group because somebody remind or didn't remind me, explain to me because I thought if you had to 
like asked to get in, like if I had to give you permission to join, then it was a, like, that's a closed group. But I guess I had my settings weird or whatever, so that it was public so people could see the post, but they couldn't post or comment without joining. So we've changed it to a closed group so nobody can see it. Your Christmas presents are safe. You can post whatever you like over there and only us members can see it. Yay! And thank you so much for letting me know about those options because I'm not a tech head. I'd like to be. Like in my next life, being a tech head would be great. But for now, nope. I'm a, I'm a hooker and a mother. That's all I'm managing right now. So thank you very much. Oh, we have baby chicks. Uh, we had a baby chick born last night, I think, yesterday or this morning, not sure. But I will take you on a little tour to meet the new baby chick after this. There, that's an out and about, right? Does that count? Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a super great week. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so by hitting the button below and stay hooked. Hold up. I didn't introduce you to Scarella. This is Scarella. She's called that because she's scary. Hold on. Number one, she's a bloomin' Amazon. Like, she's like six foot tall, and she has incredibly bad posture. Incredibly bad. She's got her chest sticking out, and she's got her butt sticking out. Like, she did not wait tables in a previous life, I'll tell you that. But... She does model my outfits quite well, although not, nothing I can wear because she stretches them out like crazy. But this is a granny square vest that I made for BizBaz when I did BizBaz. Uh, so it's just literally s stitched together granny squares where you leave a hole for the arm and then triangles for the neck. That's it, super easy. And I left it open down here because her butt was too big. Well, her, it's not that her butt's too big. Her butt is sticking out. So her butt was sticking out too much to hold it hanging down. Uh, so anyway, she was a display piece. But that's Granny Mayhem. I was like, i got to bring her down. She was way up on my top balcony up there, so I heave hold her down just to show you, and then I forgot. Okay, that's all of it now. <laughs> Stay hooked. Word on the street, we have, put your glasses on. We have a baby chicken. Look at Gru, it's so pretty. That's Gru. We're looking for the baby chick. There he is. There, there he is. Hi baby chick. Wait, oh, little yellow guy. Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our crochet podcast, episode 44. My shirt too low. Yikes. Welcome. Get yourself comfortable. This crochet channel is all about crochet. That didn't work out. Shut the door. And be quiet. This now. Oh, I don't have the microphone but Of course I don't. Gosh. They're sitting there, hanging out. Where are you at, Willis? Better? Better. Yeah, I did it. I hope now the mic works. Second time's the charm, or third, might be the third time.